morning it is an early start today we've got a couple of loads of cattle in um this morning so um yeah we've had to start extra early and it's cold freezing cold so i've just jumped in the scan here we've got all clean windows because there's no ice on them left it in the shed didn't we can we work something out today normally we'll just leave it outside you see but knew we had to be getting on everywhere's very misty we're behind it now look at that beast that's how it gets done amazing amazing so fast track and tankers some vents about also a white Valtra with a fancy trailer on back. And them straw trailers. Business. Right, I'm back on my way now um, home and then we'll go and get another load of cattle. Uh, that massive pulled over and let me pass him. Champion. Um, but yeah, not something that you see every day that like three trailer two trailers in a in a row behind a little massive business. Thinking we're going out feeding sheep or something. By the looks of it. So I got back into the yard, plenty of crows about. M's here. So we'll um, go and get a drink I think and uh, get this next load of cattle loaded up. Everywhere's looking very, very steamy today. I'm just looking around for a few cattle. We, got, we found a few cattle. There's a lot of you in here, isn't there? Who's coming to see me then? Who coming to see me? Cold guys, isn't it? It's freezing. Mm. Did you have fun at your tractor run? Yeah, it was. Yeah? Yeah? Mm. What was the best tractor there? Probably Vickers. What's that? An old John Deere. Smaller one than yours. 6830 or something. Oh, yeah. What, were there some people with cabless ones? No. I'm gonna say it would be absolutely ones. freezing, wouldn't it? Jesus, chilly. Ones, but not like cabless ones. Oh, so the one that you like best was a six eight thirty. They were like leading pack. Was it? Did they have lights on? Oh yeah. Yeah. Every truck did. Christmas. They're very good because it went night. So. Yeah. Well, well, these guys have been getting cows out and clipping them and stuff, and we're um, gonna get them loaded now. Yeah. And he's picking his. Picking muck out of his hole. Oh, clean. There you go. Were you building snowmen in Devon? No. It's no? Too cold to have. Do you want to tell us how cold the lodge was, Andy, when you got there? Four degrees. Four degrees on the inside. Yes. And what happened to the gas? It ran out in the night. It ran out in the middle of the night. But you were impressed, then. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm loaded back up. I'm off to York now. Then I'm going to go to the vets after that pick some medicine up it's going to be a real scanning adventure today um yeah like it's not going to be doing much else other than being this so i've just turned up at york auction center i'm gonna get something to eat here i think and a nice warm drink and then get on my way to the vets after this unfortunately there's no machinery about today so um yeah, not, nothing particularly exciting to look around. But at least I can get a warm drink and a nice bacon sandwich, hopefully, as long as I've not run out. So that's it. Roast beef dinner, I think, for me. So that's my uh, beef dinner all sorted. Now we'll get off to the vets um, and pick up some medicine. At Easingwald. I have been once before and that's it. Never been at Lorry though. So we'll, uh, we'll see what that's like. You see that lander over there? I used to have one exactly the same colour as that, but um, hard top. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, we're here. There's lots of sheep, I'll tell you that. So yeah, this is where our vets are. Howells, just down the bottom, down there. Uh, we'll take the, uh, take the lorry down. Ah, but maximum height, 3.6 metres. Hmm, okay. Uh, 
well. I'm not sure what height I am, to be honest. So we'll just park here. I've got it in feet, you see, not meters. Ah, the sheep look to be happy enough, munching down on that, uh, I'm guessing it's silage. Yeah. So I guess a lot of people will say, why is your vet so far away from your farm? Well, that's because we very rarely need a vet to come out and visit. Um, so we administer all our own medicines. And um, these guys are the cheapest that we found for buying the medicine. So um, they will come out once a year and see us. Um, or if there is something that we don't know, um, we don't have like an answer to what's wrong with a certain beast, then we'll get them out, obviously. But the vast majority of the time, we never need to see them, but we just need to get medicine. So, um, so yeah, that's why we've come all the way up here. Here it is. So I got the drugs and um, and now my phone. So um, yeah, we can't go out this way because it says no HGVs can go out this way. So normal customer car and uh, my customer car. So now I've just got to hope that um, my phone sat nav doesn't take me some weird way through some like seven and a half ton restricted roads or something like that and um, gets me back home because I don't know my way. I'll have to put sat nav on. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed on this one, eh? Let's hope it goes well. Somebody's a uh, professional with a hedge cutter out there. Vada fancy. Mr. B, take note. That's what I'd say. Well, I'm back in the yard and look what we've got here. Looks like we're mucking out and is it? Oh, it's Andy that's driving. I thought it was Emma for, uh, for a second. Big load. Looks like Andy's got some strawing to do. Maybe it's to do with mucking out, I don't know. Right, so I'm going to go and fill the pickup up with diesel. Uh, did the nine metre start, Andy, this morning? No. No. Jump start. <laughs> yes. Started straight away. That's it, and it's battery time. I guess no battery's been sorted today. No. It's just a never ending saga. We, we will order a battery at some point, but um, we'll just keep putting it on until tomorrow. We will get one sorted. So, yeah, Andy's going to get a mix done anyway while I go and fill this up with diesel. In fact, scrapped that because Mick Jow's daughter here, Lauren, come to cut my hair. So I guess I won't be filling this with diesel. We'll be uh, chatting to Lauren. Right, are you ready? Air cut done. Yeah, my hat back on quick. It's cold. But um, yeah, hair cut done, beard trimmed. All ready for the track to run on Sunday now. Um, these guys out here are just getting the cattle fed and then gonna get off home. It's an early start for me and Andy. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna try and get things bashed out and uh, and done. Andy's up, up there with the mixer. M's down there with a the TM. Take her off in a second. So while I've been away, uh, M and Andy have been treating a few cows feet. Just checking all around all the cattle, seeing as it's getting a cold spell now, we just need to keep on top of stuff like the ammonia. Um, make sure everything that's uh, not looking too happy gets an injection. Um, trying to be a bit more proactive rather than reactive. Yeah, getting mixes done and stuff. Andy's just sorting out some straw, ready for the morning. Chopped up. So let's see if she'll do a donut. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. It's getting very, very icy on here. Very, very icy. Andy's probably thinking, like, what's he doing? Just having fun, Andy. Just having fun. 
Yeah, you can get in there. Oh, yeah. Beast. I bet JCB are like, why are we lending him one of these on Sunday? <laughs> what an idiot. Not only are they lending me one of these, they're lending me the bigger one of these, Andy. Bigger donuts. Might need it to get from here to there. I know I might do, yeah. Snow plowing it. Yeah. yeah, like that, but bigger. I, I don't know if it's gonna be the S. I hope the I hope it is the S. 420S with a massive engine and everything. That'd yeah. be beast. So Andy and M got KFC dropped off for him today. I missed out on that, didn't I? Should have been here, Jay. Well, should have been here. I had my beef. Out. I had my yeah. beef dinner, so it was good. Beef dinner. Yeah. 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 Beef. Well, yeah. All right. Beef was good. Your pudding was good. I had no. pork and apple sauce. You had pork and apple sauce. What for your dinner? Did you? Huh. There you go. Um. Right. Anyway, it's been a bit different today, hasn't it? Me being out in the lorry. But anyway, that's how it is. These guys have been, what have you been doing? Treating cattle's feet and yeah. a bit of mucking out and stuff. Um, so yeah, at some point, I think Mr. B's gonna come over and we might just like have a little go at putting some lights on that, just to work out if we can actually do it or not. Mm. That's, cool. what he, that's what he suggested to me to, today anyway. But anyway, that's a bit, oof, I hope it gets warmer to be able to do that. Um, Anyway, if you have liked today's video, remember to press the like button and subscribe if you're not already. And uh, people are wanting the merchandise. I think there's still time um, to get it, but time is running out. So just get it in there as, uh, as soon as you can, because you know what it's like with this post and stuff. It's a nightmare. Right, are we going to uh, all get off and get warm and that? It's been cold on it. Yeah. Well, it's not been too cold for me, so I've been it wagging all the time, which has been good because it's been good for my... Um, my ailments. I, th I think I think they're kicking in now. I think I'm getting better. Yeah. 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 It's business. Right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Em, can you imagine having to buy anything for Andy? I wasn't. <laughs> How many pairs of boots have you had now? Three. Three. He's had three pairs of wellies sent. Mm -hmm. And he's like, nah, nah, nah. It's gonna end up with the same well as he's already got into. Might be, yeah. With some thick socks. <laughs> this goes in like nice thermal socks. Well, these are 60 quid now. They're not like, not even cheap, are they? No, no true. No. Everything's know. gone up. Inflation, Em, innit? Inflation. Cotswolds were quite comfy. Cotswolds? Yeah, Cotswolds. Why, when you tried them? When you were in Devon? Devil Valley. Uh. them with daddy's <laughs> Surprised you didn't get them there and then. <laughs> no. I don't know. Right. Yeah, me too. See ya. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye.